Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm cracking a pack. Today is pack number five in part two of my science project of cracking a 1990 top cello box. Check out my preview video for the explanation on the science project. I've added the link to my 1990 top cello box preview video in the description below. With all the packs that I crack, I will share my thoughts and memories about some of the players or cards. After I've cracked the pack, I'm going to choose the best card out of the pack. It doesn't have to be a rookie, superstar, or hall of famer. It can be a funny photo, something interesting about the player, or maybe some memory I had of the player from back in the day. All right. Let's get to cracking this pack. Luis Salazar, utility guy. Earl Cunningham, I don't think he played in the big leagues at all. Ron Robinson. Ted Power. Chet Lemon. All-star Mark Davis, who parlayed a one-year all-star performance into a huge contract that didn't even pay out for the Kansas City Royals. Frank Viola. Eric Heitzel, Mel Stoudemire Jr., son of pitching coach Mel Stoudemire Sr. and brother of Todd Stoudemire, Chili Davis, Billy Hatcher, Jeff Ballard, another one-time All-Star similar to Mark Davis that had a single great year but not much success after that, Jose Canseco, Jack Darry. Rich Thompson, Randy Kramer, Fred Tolliver, Mike Davis. Had a pretty decent career with the Oakland A's up until the point that he went to the Dodgers. Then he kind of dropped off the map. Joe Orslack, Jeff Brantley, Gene Nelson, Scott Scudder. Shout out to the past is alive. He opened a ton of boxes of 1990 tops, needed to find a Scott Scudder to send to someone, had to go through boxes and boxes and only found one card. In this hella box, I've already opened two of them in just five packs. Frank White, Joe Hesketh, Jamie Moyer, back when he was a younger looking, David Cohn, Greg Swindell, Davey Johnson, Gary Pettis, Ron Karkavice, probably around 27, 28, but looks like he's 50. Andres Galarraga, the big cat. All right, my favorite card or best card out of the pack is going to be Jose Canseco. Even though he had a great career, steroids obviously marred it. There was no doubt in the late 80s and early 90s Jose Canseco was the big name in the hobby. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Also share with me in the comments what your favorite card or what you thought was the best card in the pack. Until next time when I'm back to crack pack number six in my 1990 top cello box, remember, this is for science.